the conflicts surrounding downtown Manhattan and its reconstruction represent political, cultural, economic, and social conflicts pervasive in American and global urban societies. Most of these have found expression symbolically in cultural icons. I'm Dr. Barbara Walters, and my goal today is to present you with a brief overview of the parameters of some of these conflicts. Estimates of the reconstruction appeared on 9-11-11 in the New York Times, $23.5 billion. Others estimate the cost at $3.3 trillion, not including the war. John Mullenkopf is one of scores of social scientists, many at CUNY, who have and continue to write informatively about the reconstruction and the interface of individual and collective memory through the memorial with all of its accompanying conflicts. Andrew Beveridge and his Social Explorer program, available as a database in any CUNY library, permit easy analysis of the changing demographics in the lower and the urban areas. Lower Manhattan is one of the oldest neighborhoods in America, initially English and Welsh. It was largely a working class neighborhood up through the beginning of the 20th century, but also the site of the New York Stock Exchange, which dates back to 1792, and the site of Federal Hall, where George Washington was inaugurated. In 1990, the residential population of the downtown area was largely concentrated in the western sector. The color coding is less helpful for New York City than for Kansas City, since the red category begins at 15,000 and goes up to 688,000. Social Explorer, like the General Social Survey, might consider a tweak what Otis Dudley Duncan referred to as iterative fitting, to provide better information across geographic variations. The same issue appears with income data, where the highest category is 100,000 to 200,000, a handsome salary in New York City, but a veritable fortune in Mississippi. Many banks and financial centers moved out. People moved in as the area became much more residential between 2000 and 2010. The qualitative changes are much more visible as tourist maps, as tourist maps on poster boards and amenities moved into the downtown area. East of the New York Stock Exchange is dominated by tourism Tribeca and Battery Park City are residential. The Wall Street area and Battery Park continue to experience high vacancy rates, including the old AIG building, which is completely vacant. The neighborhood, like most of Manhattan, has become increasingly wealthy. Most of the residents are young, and ethnically, the area is largely white, with a significant number of Asians. Most of the residents are renters rather than owners, and most are occupied in management or professional occupations. A surprisingly high level of reputation of represent a surprisingly low level of representation of finance and insurance professionals, a surprisingly high level of representation of people working in educational services, health care, and social assistance. And of course, as Mullenkopf has noted, along with Florida, the creative class. Culturally and artistically, many of the buildings are historical landmarks that attained even more cultural and sentimental significance after 9-11. The religious tendencies in America, unlike Europe, have gravitated in the direction of both higher levels of church going and, more importantly, 
what Robert Bella calls civil religion. The downtown area is filled with cultural icons that blend the sacred and the secular. That's George Washington at Federal Hall overlooking the stock exchange. Alexander Hamilton, who was buried at Trinity Church. Occupy Wall Street emerged right on the heels of the commemoration of 9-11 and represented the extreme dissatisfaction and frustration of many Americans with current legal, political, and economic situations. Murphy Center scholars hopped onto the research wagon winning an award from the Russell Sage Foundation for their research. Their first publications are just now coming out. Marco Castro, one of our recent communication and culture graduates in the CUNY Online Baccalaureate, worked with me over the fall and winter on a photo documentary of the downtown area, Occupy Wall Street and Bushwick, thanks really to a tip from Professor Mullenkamp at his ESS presentation in 210, I was able to make a quick modification to an existing PSC CUNY award so as to allow us to capture this as it unfolded. And speaking of countercultural icons, this is Bushwick, what we would definitely call a contrasting neighborhood. Kim Robinson, another CUNY professor, and I presented on Bushwick at both the Brooklyn Pavilion at KCC and at ESS. Her dissertation explores this in much more depth and I believe she is also scheduled as a guest lecturer in this course. St. Barbara's in Bushwick. This photo just about gave Ardina a heart attack. It's from the filming of Batman. We all remember Bushwick, 1977. Well, Perhaps not all of us, but this last one says it all. There's much work to be done, and much that will need the input of professional urban sociologists. 